Okay, right, they've almost got our moth trap finished. Now most of the time we find that uh, the panel will be too small for the bucket that we have. So what one needs to do is to cut a suitable aperture in the lid so that we can use the bucket. Well, most of the time I think the best thing to do is cut a circle of a suitable size and uh, just lay that on the lid and then we'll draw around the, uh, uh, the template. So again, it's not, uh, it's not rocket science. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit to one side, but I've lined this up as centrally as I can. And there, I've got a good cut line now. And now I need to, uh, to start the cut so I can get the scissors or snips in to uh, cut it out. And, uh, yeah, the way that I like to, to start it best of all is just to use this punch here, making a loud noise again. Look at that, that perfect hole. And now we can just cut round This technique will work for all sorts of bucket lids. Okay, let's just trim the excess plastic off a bit, make it neat. Like that, we have a suitable lid and the cone drops in perfectly.